Hey guys, so I know what kinds of things you want to see. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hey everyone, I just wanted to talk to you for a moment about the CMR Line C62 General Purpose Gondola. Now my Chinese isn't too great, but from what I can tell, the C62 is just one in a long line of general purpose gondolas made by the Chinese government for China Rail in order to improve transportation across the country. Now these are loaded from the top, but they're unloaded via a multitude of side panels. It seems like a lot of the general purpose gondolas in China are made this way. It's perhaps that they have some specialized equipment that allows them to be unloaded via these hatches. I'm just not sure. Now, if my interpretation of Chinese is correct, then it looks like it was 1972 when these were first produced. They're actually a shortened version of the C65 gondola. Even though the 62 in the C62 designation nominally indicates that it's gonna hold 62 tons worth of stuff, it looks like it actually holds 60 or 61 tons. Oh well, you know everything wasn't gonna go perfectly smooth. Something had to upset the apple cart. And just in case you're wondering, I'm pretty sure the C stands for Chang Che, which stands for gondola in Chinese. If you're a native speaker of Chinese, please forgive me for butchering your language. I'm really not trying to do it on purpose. Let's take a look at this model. I think CMR has done a great job of capturing the details of this model, yet making this a very reasonably priced piece to put on your track. Let's face it, these kinds of workhorse pieces of rolling stock can really break the bank since we need a lot of them to look realistic in our consists. So I give a lot of credit to CMR for ensuring that people who want these kinds of Chinese consists can do so and still maintain a really good value point. From what I've seen, individual cars go for right around $30 while a pack of four of them go for right under $100. Now for myself, I chose two four packs so I could see what they would look like behind my 6K. And as you can see, I think they look great. They come standard with metal wheels and they're really smooth rolling. And so it doesn't put a lot of strain on my locomotive. As you see, they have sprung metal couplers and the underbody details are really nice. Now most of the detail parts are actually molded directly into the body, but they're so nice and they're so well done that you can't really tell until you bring it up close to your face. The lettering is crisp and clear and it's a joy to look at. Stirrups like the one you see over there feel really solid and they don't feel like they're going to snap off if you breathe on them, which I really appreciate because sometimes I can handle things a little roughly. Now this model actually comes with a standard coal load, which is great because so many times manufacturers don't include those and it's a really nice touch. But since this is a general purpose gondola, it doesn't have to carry coal and what's nice is you can actually take out the coal load and you can fill it up with whatever you want. Now coupler height was never a problem, they all seem to line up and I've never had one decouple while it's running. All right, at least in theory, at seven inches long, these should be about 4.5 ounces, according to NMRA standards. And when I weighed them, actually, I got 3.1. I double weighed it just to make sure, and I got 3.1 again. But frankly, you know, the standard might be somewhat out of date. I've never had a problem with these derailing, and you know what? Maybe 3.1 is enough. Of course, you can always take off the top coal load and add more weight if you want to get it up to that standard. I know this is a bit brief, but I decided to go ahead and get it out there quickly just in case you're starting to get more interested in Chinese trains. You know, once in a while, it's nice to have something new running on your layout and something you can talk about. I think Chinese trains look really excellent, and I think they've got some really good designs that are a lot of fun to run. But hey, if you have any questions about this or you want to make any comments, I would love to hear from you, so please leave something down below. Please be sure to subscribe and like also. I would really appreciate it. Thanks and stay safe.